Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another one of my videos. Well it's been a while since I've done this kind of video where I talk about new releases but you wanted me to talk about products that are coming out or already are out there, the new product, and you wanted me to speak about them, tell you what I think about them, will I purchase it, will I not purchase it. So I thought that I would start doing these videos, new releases, uh, maybe every second week, but we'll see how it goes on my channel. And if more of you are interested to see that, please let me know down below. But I will continue. There is a lot of, <laughs> a lot of influencers and YouTubers out there that are talking about new releases. And of course, I do have my own opinion and I will tell you what I think about them. And all of the pictures are from t trend mode. So I'll uh, put that information down below. I will use my phone to read about the products a little bit. And if you're interested to hear my thoughts about the new releases, then please keep on watching. Okay, I just took my glasses off, so I do have those kind of circles where I had my glasses, so I hope it doesn't bother you guys. <laughs> but, okay, let's start with it. First thing I want to talk about is actually the new Urban Decay palette called Wild West. And I have to say that it actually, for the, can I be honest, for the almost first time, this is my opinion, but it feels like this is the first time that Urban Decay really goes puts the shades together that really goes with the name because often when they say purple palette or i know it's just one purple and something similar to it but this is the first time that i feel like this is really shades from wild west and i like this palette it's nothing new to, would <laughs> let's just say will i purchase it yes it won't be anything new for my um, for my collection because I do have similar shades to this in my collection but I think this palette is stunning. I do like Urban Decay's eyeshadow palettes. I do like their like that quality. Now I have to say that not all of the palettes are beautiful. I did I did have that nude first, second and third palette and they're not really my favorite palettes. I also had another that I don't really remember the name that wasn't really that good but I do have that gold palette from Urban Decay. Urban Decay and I really love it. It says 12 desert inspired neutral eyeshadows from pale peach and metallic bronze to deep blue green and turquoise, turquoise, uh, can't really I pronounce it but you know what I mean. Shimmer mattes, metallics and shimmers finishes and um, inspired by California's desert Joshua trees and endless skis $49 it's vegan and cruelty free and it's been available since February the 8th February and I think will I purchase it I'm not really sure because I do have similar shades to this but <laughs> maybe I will in the future I'll always say no but then I go and see the videos and I see people talking about these products and I always end up buying that so I can definitely see myself buying that palette definitely <laughs> okay let's go to the next product the next product that I've seen here that is let me just say is it out there yet uh, no February the 12th I don't know when this video is coming out Pro but this is the new product from um, Fenty, Fenty Skin. This is the Flash Nap Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream. I love everything that has to do with eye gel, you know, with sensitive eye area. If something's going to make my other eyes look more uh, awake, make less visible lines that will make me look more smooth, my fine lines. I'm all, all, all over it. And this says a power shot of renewal, hydrates and so soothes in contact, reduce the look of puffiness over time. Lightweight, non-greasy, cooling gel eye texture instantly hydrates, restores and soothes, fast absorbing, reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles and crow's feet both instantly and over time. Brightens and firms the skin around the eyes, reduces the look of puffiness and dark circles. And of course you can wear it with makeup, prime as a primer or concealer. And you know what? 
everything it says about this product this is definitely going to be one of the purchases i will make because i'm always looking for something new for the under eye area because i do have i don't know if you can see when i smile i do have visible lines smile lines under my eyes i do have wrinkles that i'm not proud of but i mean they're there i'm 36 of course i'm going to have something on them under my eyes and yeah i'm all over it i'll definitely buy it. this is something that will be in my next haul okay let's go because i do have plenty of products to talk about now what do i think about the new mark jacobs release now mark jacob jacobs ca came out with this uh, coffee collection oh my god it looks so stunning i really really want to try this i really want it it includes one extra shot coffee and concealer and foundation uh it's what it's called it's Get two Omega and three powder blush bronze highlighter palettes, highlighter matte, matte gel eye crayons, and extra shot coffee concealer and foundation. Now that concealer and foundation sounds interesting. Also the palette, the Omega X3 powder blush and bronze highlighter palette. I'm not really interested in highlighter matte, matte gel eye crayons because I'm not really into crayons or liquid eyeshadows it's i like to experiment to try something but i'm not really you know running out to purchase it so but these two products look amazing and i would like to get my hands on it depending on um, i know what it depends on but i really want that this is really really nice release that made me happy to see and this is going to be available what it's called yeah it's already out there february the 8th so Yes, I hope it will come to Swedish Sephora. I'm not really sure. Um, not all of the products come here, but it's definitely something I would like to have in my collection. Looks very interesting. Now, I've seen this uh, yesterday. and This is the Jacqueline Hill released her mystery box. I uh, was all over it. I really wanted to get it but I didn't because I saw what's inside if they didn't show you know what you can expect uh, I would get it but because they already showed what you can get I wasn't really that interested anymore it's kind of three little list lipsticks one sparkle gold gloss four loose glimmer powders and baked highlighters I have that highlighter palette from um, Jacqueline Hill, love it. It's one of the best highlighting formula, but I'm not really interested and in don't want more loose highlighters because I have plenty of highlighters. And red lipsticks, I love red lipsticks. I love red lipsticks, but I really, because her new nude collection, lipstick collection was a disaster, I still wait for that improved <laughs> lipstick release. So i'm not in a hunt for more red lipsticks if i if i have to be honest so i don't know i already purchased like a couple of other red lipsticks so that's the only reason i didn't get it now this is sold out i know if it's if it's going to be coming back i hope so for other people for other people because there are, i know there are a lot of people that really wanted to get their hands on it but unfortunately didn't do that Okay, let's go now to the Milk Cosmetic. Now, Milk Cosmetic came out or comes out with two new products. Something that already launched the February the 5th is the new Electric Glossy Lip Plumper. Oh, it sounds very nice. I like the packaging. I also like the shade range. Now, this is not going to be like a liquid lipstick, of course, but it says a, a clean, ultra cushiony gel lip plump, plumper with a comfort comfortable tightening sensation for the appearance of fuller soother softened lips instantly and over time definitely something i'm interested in. now there are already kind of these kind of products out there this is not the first brand that comes with something similar but i really like the packaging i really like how um, how it sounds i like the shade range so i can see myself purchasing one or two shades definitely uh, it's how much are they going to cost a uh, 20 25 dollars each now it is kind of expensive 
higher in price. I hope it's worth it, but definitely something I will look into. Now, they are going to release also or already released color chalk chalks chalks, eighteen dollars each, fourteen shades. Now this is something that made me actually confused. Doesn't look like something I'm into. Doesn't really look some something that I really want to try experiment with. This is handmade glide onto eyelids, cheeks, lips, or beyond. Forbidable shimmer, shimmering payoff. They come in a peel off rip wrap and portable res reusable tube can be used wet or dry infused with a blend of essential oils for a subtle scent silky shimmering 40 shades i don't know if there is any audience for this please let me know down below if you are interested in buying this because i can't see anyone really getting interested in something like this it feels like this is going to be a lot of work but some people like these kind of products i'm really not one of them it doesn't the look of it doesn't really appear to me. I'm not interested to even get it and or swatch it, but could be an interesting product. Just not something for me. I, I mean, I can see maybe a makeup artist buy these and use for maybe a, I don't know, photo shoot or something, but I just feel like it's not really my cup of tea, not something that I really want. No, but something I really want and really want to get is actually Luna Beauty's new launch and is their Fox Mink Lashes with soft cotton band, 20 time wear, $15 each. Oh my God, these look stunning. I saw this video when he talked about them. I loved every pair. The pair I'm very excited about is actually the Stella. It looks so natural and I, don't usually, I love how my eyes look with uh, falsies. I love it. I will wear falsies every day, but it kind of feels weird for me to go to my work. I work as a teacher. It kind of feels weird to go with uh, these kind of lashes to work, even if I really, really, really want to, really want to. And uh, not that I can't, of course I could go. I mean, it's not forbidden, but it just feels like I never went th to work with falsies and now suddenly I do kind of, I don't know, just, feels weird but these Stella look amazing every day every day eyelashes and I really really want to get my hands on it even Luna kind of sounds to be my cup of tea those other look beautiful but are a little bit too big for my hooded eyes but these still Luna and Stella definitely going to be something I'm going to look into I love Luna Beauty I only tried the Moon Prism blush palette it's what I have on my cheeks today I love that palette I just I'm upset obsessed not upset obsessed with that palette so that release that launch I'm very very excited about now next launch is and it's already out there I've seen it on Beauty Bay it's Dominique uh, Cosmetics their new eyeshadow palettes that is trans transition palette it looks very nice it looks really beautiful I love love their uh, eyeshadows and I've tried some of their palettes my sister really liked this brand and I know I borrowed her palettes to try them out I really like the, the these their eyeshadow quality or eyeshadows but this palette is beautiful it's just not something I need in my collection I have over 80 19 palettes I definitely have these shades in many other palettes and though I do like their for formula eyeshadow formula it's not something that I'm going to buy run out and buy because I don't need it just say I don't need it but I can see other people really liking this palette because there is a shade for everyone everyone they include every skin tone and I really like that I think this is something that other brands need to look into create palettes not too big palettes but palettes that really can be used for everyone everyone needs to think about creating these kind of palettes um, shimmers mattes shimmer and mattes doesn't matter it's just a stunning palette to look at it's just natural shades but it's really beautiful and stunning i won't buy it because i don't need it but if i got it as a present i won't wouldn't be upset if i have to i'll be honest i really like it and uh, let me see this is going to be this is 48 dollars and it's going to be yeah it's already out so nice if you're looking for something like that 
this is definitely maybe for you. Now let's go over to another brand. Let's talk Colourpop. If I will do these videos and talk about Colourpop releases, I wouldn't be, be able to film anything else because Colourpop release things every single day, if not every day. Yeah, almost every day. And their new release is Valentine's collection. Now, it looks stunning. It looks really stunning. This collection is beautiful, but really, the blushes look to be packages. Packages are beautiful. The blush package are stunning, uh, and uh, I don't think this is a bad product. It's just something that we already seen. We already seen Colourpop do this. We'll we already seen uh, Natasha Denona. It kind of looks to be like a dupe palette for some of the Natasha Denona palettes. But I mean, it's cute. I won't go and buy it because I don't really need it and it, it just looks something like I already have in my collection so and I already I don't need more blushes definitely not eyeshadow palettes but blushes no so I won't buy it but it kind of looks nice it kind of looks cute I just feel like they put out so much every week so many launches every week and I feel like people don't actually have the time to experiment and enjoy they purchase their products that they bought from Colourpop because Colourpop will definitely after two days release something new and the one that you bought are not really interesting anymore so I feel like Colourpop, BH Cosmetics and some other brands uh, make a revolution should kind of stop a little bit take a step or two, maybe three steps back and just let people enjoy the product that you already have. You have st a beautiful product, just please let us breed <laughs> with these releases. But it's kind of cute, I won't get it. I mean, the names uh, of these palettes are also stunning, very beautiful, but just no, I'm not going to buy it. Okay, something that I'm kind of curious to buy and I, I feel like I really want to see if it's going to be available here. It's the, it's the Ofra Cosmetics new launch that is called Ride or Die Collection. Now this collection is kind of very interesting. It includes the bl uh, blushers, the bronzer, uh, bronzer and blush into one pen. Comes with a perfect match, a liquid blush, used separately or together. It's a duo you get for $35, otherwise the blushers or blushes, I don't, I don't know if I pronounce that right, but that um, blush duo and uh, is $29 and liquid blush is $15. This is something I'm kind of interested in, definitely. I love um, Ofra Cosmetic highlighters and I haven't tried their blush formula, but these look very nice. So. I, I don't know if they are going to be available here, but if they do, maybe I will purchase one of the shades. This with the orange kind of looks very interesting to me. I love orange blushes, so I uh, maybe will check out that. That kind of looks very nice. So I'm very curious to buy this. This is something that kind of caught, got my attention. Looks cute, looks stunning, and it's nothing new out there, but I feel like it's something very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I just talked about Makeup Revolution releasing products all the time, but something I'm kind of curious about is actually their new concealers or under eye brighteners, what it's called. New eye bright lumina illuminating under eye concealer. Now, I love Makeup Revolution's concealers. I know some people like them, some people really don't. I enjoy, I really love. It's one of the favorite, my favorite for, for concealer formula. It's full coverage, it stays, it doesn't dry my under eyes. I'm 36, year old, 36 years old. You can see my skin, it's not perfect. My under eyes are not perfect, but I really enjoy their concealers. Not all of them. Those with the Dolph applicators are beautiful. Those in tube are a disaster. But this is something that kind of got my, uh, I'm interested in to try. Very interested packaging. I like the packaging. I love this rose gold shade. I'm obsessed with this shade. It looks stunning. I really like it. I kind of, the shades look also interesting, include everybody. Um, yeah. 
I want to try this. I'll definitely buy one of these and try. Why not? I mean, I'm, I love Makeup Revolutions concealers and I really want to try something new from them. Uh, so definitely, definitely like. Now, I always bought their eyeshadow palettes and I like their eyeshadow palettes. It, just their new eyeshadow palettes. It, neither of them really, you know, got my attention. So that's why I haven't uh, try anything from Makeup Revolution yet, but if you're interested to see me review a palette, let me know from Makeup Revolution. I'll definitely do. I do like their palettes. Now something that kind of looks that I'm kind of disappointing about is the P. Louise new uh, eyeshadow palettes. This is celebrating the season of love, Valentine's, the new love tape Extension collection by P. Louise. Now these look cute. I <laughs> tapes. I mean, if you're old as I am, you know how much this means. I really love love the packaging. Packaging, I'm obsessed with, but I'm disappointed with shade range. I'm not. Re Neither of these palettes really are popping out to me. You know, in, in neither of them really talks to me, buy me, buy me. It's just something that we already have seen out there. Uh, I don't think the formula is bad, no. I haven't tried their eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow formula, but I know many people like it. So I don't think that's bad. I just feel like unexpected more. <laughs> it's uh, neutral shades. All of these look kind of to be more neutral. Uh, shades and I already have too many new neutral eyeshadow palettes and not I'm not really a neutral eyeshadow girl if you see me I do like color I do like color on my eyes maybe sometimes too much but I just love color it makes me happy and neutrals I do go neutral sometimes but it's not something I really I get bored let me just say, if I use a if I do a makeup natural makeup look two days in a row, third day I'm definitely bored. I need something, uh, some color on my eyes. So that's definitely the reason I'm not going to purchase these. But packaging just made me happy. And the last thing I want to talk about, a new brand to me that I haven't heard about, is the Loose Beauty or Loose Beauty. I don't know how you pronounce this, but they come out with a new uh, clean color cosmetic black owned uh, beauty brand includes one no limits matte bronzer two uh, triple fix serum foundation they also come came out with high higher standard satin matte cream blush secure skin gripping serum prime triple fix setting powder speak love glossy lip treatment oil and also brushes now this is going to be available february the 19th um, I think on their website, definitely coming also to, I think, Sephora, but I hope it's Swedish Sephora too, because I'm kind of curious to try this brand. Everything looks amazing. These uh, bronzers and blushes and lip oils and even the, the foundation sounds very, very interesting. And packaging is amazing. This triangle really speaks to me. I really want to try something from this brand. And hopefully it will come here because it's not, doesn't, it's going to be kind of a nice pricing too. The bronzers are going to be $18. The foundation or fix serum foundation, $22. The blushes are going to be $16. Primer, $20. Setting powder $18, the lip oil 12 So the price is kind of very nice. I, I feel like it's very nice and I really, really want to try this brand. Let me know down below if you tried anything from this. I haven't heard about this brand before, but it kind of sounds very interesting. That's everything, guys. There are definitely a lot of new releases out there, but this is something I wanted to talk about. And please let me know down below if you purchased any of these products or or are you interested to purchase them? What do you think about them? Please let me know down below. And I will maybe do a check up and see in a couple of months if you I really purchased something from this video. But guys, this is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really like when you suggest what kind of videos you want to see me create and make it makes me happy and I really try to make 
everybody happy and do so and uh, fulfill your wishes guys thank you so much for watching and spending time with me and i hope i see you in my next video bye guys